Mind you, we swore an oath of loyalty, but the rust still deceived us. It's not more speeches in the Senate that will change the world. Rome is dying. My legions are mustering as swiftly as possible. Senators, welcome back to episode 42 of my Stellaris Roman Empire campaign. In the last episode, the broken clock distorted space-time so significantly that it even interrupted our electronics, but through perseverance and some light maintenance, our systems are now back online, though the broken clock system is empty yet again. For the war in heaven, the League of Non-Aligned Powers have been tightening their grip on the vassals of the two fallen empires, with some posturing between the Kozier Trade League and the dangerously powerful Corinth Restorers. Meanwhile, we've leveraged our power over the galactic community, allowing us to veto any resolution put forth. And as we are the sole council member, we declared an emergency session to denounce the two fallen empires, which is currently being hotly debated. During this time, our war efforts have been focused on destroying the ancient eradicators and also punishing the treachery of the Tyrene Republic. However, their form of punishment was being debated by our Senate for which the results are now in. Let's take a look. An extremely close vote. How do we handle the treachery of the Tyrian Republic? And it was a 50.8% for putting the Haitian in chains versus the 49.2 for extermination. So an extremely close vote there. And there was over 100 votes. And I think one person may have just swayed it. Because it was on 50-50 for a real long time. I didn't want to be the one who had to make the choice. <laughs> but yeah, there was one vote that it really went... I, th I thought it was going to be really heavily in the direction of extermination. You guys surprised me with that one. But there you go. So 50.8%. An extremely close one. A contentious vote, no, no, no doubt for keeping them alive, not purging their species, and instead using them as slaves, which is what we're gonna be doing. So we have the Haitian here, 123 of their pops exist, pretty much on their own worlds, which we conquered. I don't think any of them made it to us beforehand. And I've got a project here to turn them into the Haitian conditioned, which means that they'll actually be, they'll remove that desert preference and instead get the continental preference. This is gonna be so we can terraform their worlds, which I've already queued up. But we're gonna kind of beat the aristocraticness out of them, if that's even a word. Pretty much, you know what I mean. I'll leave that song on. So that's kind of the thing that I've got going now. I think it takes, it's going to take three months. So I've just queued it up already in the situation log. So that shouldn't be a big problem. So we're going to genetically modify the Haitian species, keep them in chattel slavery, and then sort of uplift the Picari, who would have been the ones that they were presiding over. Uh, so let's find them real quick in this list. There they are. Picari, we had them conditioned once before. We're going to condition them again um, to actually just give them that Oh, weird. I actually went with tropical preference. I must have made a mistake. Let's do this now. Might as well just do it now. I want to make them uh, continental. That'd be the one. Create that template. And then we can remove this template, can we? I think. There we go. So that should sort it out. So we'll do that project right after this one uh, for the Haitian. And that basically means that if they're living on the same planets, they're both going to be accustomed now to continental. We can't, unfortunately, modify out the slave gene. Um, maybe we should modify out the hard shell or something else to make them... Yeah, let's just... Why not? Well, seeing as we're here, let's uh, see what else we can give them. Oh, we can't. Cannot remove beneficial traits. Oh, really? Photosynthetic. Pop food. Okay. Ah, I guess we'll just leave them then. It's fine. All right, so we'll do that straight after then. Not a big deal. So we've left off in where we are right now in ancient eradicators territory. We've got our Spartans queued up to take three planets. Hub, chassis, and then there's another one over here. Bridge. This place has seen better days. There's a lot of debris, broken worlds at Rubicon. So 
Uh, people might be wondering about the other crashes we were having. Just from a little bit of playing around and testing out what was going on, it seems to be something to do with removing a star base and then clicking a fleet. That seems to be a guaranteed way to make a trip and make it happen and make a crash. So I'm going to avoid clicking star bases. <laughs> I'll just do them in between episodes, make sure they're upgrading and, and doing what they need to do. But largely, you don't really need to click them that often. I was obviously removing a lot because we're taking all this new territory through Total War. Uh, so we didn't want all these star bases. It was hurting our economy. So remove. I was like, click, remove, and then I would click a fleet, and then the game would crash. And that seems to be the three instances of crashes I've had uh, not to do with the broken clock one. Um, so yeah, so hopefully that's something we can avoid in future at least and if that's the case then everything's all good so when i was talking about the posturing between the kosher trade league and the um corinth resource actually this is actually mostly pub privateers the kosher are around here but just they're backing off a bit they've got no hope here but i'm just going to be kind of loosely keeping an eye on it as much as i can to see that they are not going to be destroyed and for those who haven't haven't seen the fleets in a while let's take a look obviously they're kind of bunched up on each other right now but that's a lot of attack moons. Now, some people were saying in the comments, oh, you've got loads of influence now. You should uh, get that last system and, and some other systems as well that you're leaving behind. I, I guess so. We could get the system. There are three worlds here that could be terraformed. They're nanite worlds. We don't get anything in this system except for some energy. The reason that I haven't, and I'm probably not going to do it, is because I really want to put all their influence into creating more moon uh, attack moon sites and also some gateways. I want to get a gateway out down this way so we don't always have to go through the Opsia system just to get down here. Uh, we don't really have a way of getting down on this side. I don't know if there's anything I can do about that. But if we just clear up this area, there'll be no problem. So we're going to hide the, hide the lanes for now. Go diplomatic map mode. This gives you a nice picture of what's going on, right? We're allied, obviously, with all the purple. They're within our federation, the League of Non-Aligned Powers. We're at war with all of the red territory. We're conquering it as we go. Um, and there's nothing we can do about that. We could always give it back or create vassal states after the fact if we wanted to, like, partition off places. And even restore... For instance, if we were to take out the Order of Enlightenment, we could restore them by just, like, I guess, giving... Creating a vassal and then giving them systems and making sure they have the economy to kind of cope. I don't know if we'll do that, but we might, because I'm not really in it to just conquer the entire galaxy. I know Rome is expansionist and stuff, but, you know, I think it's kind of more interesting to at least have allies and maybe some vassals. Anyways, um, but meanwhile, obviously, we're going to be just conquering whatever we need to to put them down while we build our strength so that we can be ready to deal with that, you know, 1.5 million fleet power in there. So we're already investing into our own attack moons um, that we should be able to move soon enough, I think. Here at Lyrum, we have one. So 961 days. I don't know if there's another phase to this. This is the... We put the movement system on. I think now we're going to be putting the weapon system on. So... Or vice versa, whatever. Which one doesn't really matter. I don't know if there's another stage then after that. Does it need, like, someone to command it? Do we get to outfit it with weapons? I have no idea. I haven't actually seen. Um, and I believe we're doing it to another planet. Which I'm actually a little bit unsure of where it is oh yeah i remember now sorry it has been a while since i've ducked into the safe file. i've been ducking in and out throughout the week to try and see what was going on with those crashes but i haven't got a chance to actually record until now um and i won't be recording bulk episodes i'll be recording again in another couple days so i'll see all the feedback from this episode in the next one which is good um yeah so one of these moons i'm not too sure which where, where it is did we set it up already? Oh no, our construction ship was doing it. That's what it was. Okay, sorry about that. So there they are right there. So there's an attack moon site above system 28725. And that's 83% done. So that's another attack moon. Each one's like 80 influence. Now we're gaining 14 influence per month. So, I don't know. I just want to focus everything we can on getting those moons up and running. They take years, you know, so I feel like it's an important thing to do. Uh, and any other mega structures we might want. So that's what influence is being used for. It's true that we don't need influence really for any territories now that we're in a Total War CB. Unless, for whatever reason, there's actual empty gaps, which there are some, actually. Um, but I'm just going to be leaving that, because it's just not that big of a deal. That one little system. Alright, anyways, let's, I think, let time play. The current situation is we have... Okay, let's try to do a, a coherent recap of what's going on here. We have two of our Federation fleets 
down here, pushing into this area, right? Into the Order of Enlightenment. They're the next on the chopping block, as well as the Nur Assembly. We've got another fleet over here doing the same thing. I should have a place called Tiana Vec in here. Wow, it's like the Tianki home, home system, is it? Jeez. They're not actually hostile, so it shouldn't be an issue. That's pretty cool. All right, anyway, we're going to go in there. Take that out. Our juggernaut's down here. Our main fleet is going back home. And I think we're going to do a big build and upgrade. So that's what we're storing alloys for at the moment. All right, so that's kind of the situation. I'm actually going to hide the star bases so I don't end up clicking them. That'd probably be a good idea. Oh, yeah. Do we? I guess we're building our flagship, are we? I'm assuming so. Yeah, I guess so. All right, cool. Sweet. It's going to turn down that music. It's quite loud. All right. So that's the situation. Then over here in the Ancient Eradicators territory, we have Admiral Opsius, and he's got his Spartans with him, taking the planet. So Opsius, we saw that a small fleet got behind us, so he's going to just, like, jump and get it. But we have to wait nine days, I think, before we can do that. Yeah. So that's basically what we're going to do. Time is now playing. We're going to wait nine days. This is loading the previous autosave, so I can't remember how far we went after this happened, but... It doesn't really matter, we're just going from here now, I guess. <clears throat> Alright, they've moved. Two days, and then we're going to jump on them. Alright. It's just one ship, but they, because it's so strong, I guess it is taking things. One battleship. I'm just going to jump right on them. And meanwhile, our troops are landing, so all good. No issues. I think we've got the other ones. Are they queued up as well? Queso's Conquerors. We want to get them queued up on this planet. Combine. And that will kind of solidify the territory here. We're pushing away the ancient eradicators here. There's a little two systems out there. There's one system there. But largely, they're being crushed in pretty quick now. There are some planets left to go. The, the fear would obviously be the closer we get to the Corinth or Sores, the more they, you know, they might turn their attention to me. They might even jump. I don't know if the AI is really capable of that. They definitely have the ships capable of doing it. Even their planets, even their moons can do it, apparently. Unless we find one class of ship in here that doesn't do it. Yeah, they all have jump drives, so they might end up doing it, they might not, I don't know. There's 1.5 million fleet power, so even if they jumped and they lost a third of their fleet power, they'd still be like way stronger than what we have. And plus, we've only got the one fleet. It's just Corvettes at the moment. I'm not a Corvette spam player, but it's just more roleplay for Opsius. I'll probably put him on the flagship and then maybe divide up the Corvettes afterwards or something. We'll see. <clears throat> Alright. Engaging hostile station. Engaging hostile station. Let's see. Alright, our Federation fleets are pushing into the Order of Enlightenment. Commencing planetary invasion. Okay. Oh, I also did some testing where I just played like this for a while and just didn't click any star bases, and it was fine. So hopefully, you know, we can just put up with the hitches and things like that, but and just have no more crashes should be fine. Hope so, anyway. All right, so are both fleets here? Oh, apparently they are. Oh, we queued them. Oh, I see. I thought I divided their attention, but I remember I'm keeping them together because the Order of Enlightenment does have somewhere around here about 100,000 fleet power. I don't actually see them right now. A lot of space amoeba, 22,000 there, 2,000 there. They had 100,000 before. Maybe they fought. They have been fighting the Colden Consortium, so maybe they um, maybe they lost. Could be the case. Kind of disappointing. I was hoping to engage them. All right, our ships have arrived in that Tianki Vec system. I didn't know why we weren't moving there. I was like, what's going on? <laughs> but time just wasn't playing, so it's all good. So we're not actually fighting the Tianki in here. It's interesting, they just have four gas giants in this little cloud, do they? Although it doesn't seem to be anything terribly interesting about them. Cool system, though. What's this? Helioforming candidate. All right, good. No problem. And we have, hey, it's a little patch of Roman Empire territory down here. We could give that to someone else if, if we wanted to, if we were fe feeling nice, but I don't think we will. Um, this, by the way, this is just to catch you up as well. The green territory is enemy territory as well. I don't know why it's not 
blue, hmm. like the track. Oh, I guess blue are with the Corinth and green is with Carillion. Yeah, yeah, okay, that makes sense. All right, yeah, so green and blue is enemy, yellow is not, basically. So that's, and then red is obviously enemy here. All right, looks like we've jumped into their system. Are they gonna get away from me? They might, they're a battleship though, so we should be quick enough, even after our jump. Oh yeah, someone said to name this Opsius' Swarm. That's kind of a cool name. All right, Opsius' Swarm. Not hearing anything, which is odd. Oh my god, the lag. <laughs> it just keeps stuttering and freezing. Some people said that it might be to do with having so many of these ships. I mean, maybe. It actually typically doesn't freeze when I'm zoomed into a system. It's usually more on the campaign side of things. Or the gal galaxy side of things, I should say. Commencing planetary invasion. All right, I'll we'll just tell them to go chase. They should be fine. We've taken one of the planets at Rubicon. We haven't taken the other one though. So let's go for that. Station under attack. I think we're currently taking this one. Yep. We have seized an enemy world. Excellent. Queso's conquerors. All right, we're gonna do a jump, and yeah, we could just jump up here. So that should be that territory done. It is. Engaging hostile fleet. Commencing planetary invasion. See some maneuvering of uh, the Corinth Restore. I keep forgetting their name. I keep wanting to call them the Carillion. The Corinth Restore is moving f that to. That's basically their big stack that they seem to just be keeping together. I have noticed as well. They have a Colossus weapon. So gonna be watching out for that. It's just stationed on one of their star bases right now. <clears throat> Obviously, don't want that landing or getting anywhere near one of our planets. It'll completely kill it and destroy it. So that's priority no matter what. We will go to our deaths, deaths if need be, in a battle to take that thing out if we have to. All right, we managed to catch that one battleship. All right, got him. Or, well, they got away, I guess, technically, but it's all good. All right, let's go up there. Let's get that back. Let's do it the other way around, just so we can queue it up. And then we'll come back this way. Okay, good. All good. Attack moon construction site built. This is the one at 2872. Alright. Next phase for that one. Alright, all good. Everything else, by the way, is all pretty much par for the course. The planets are all doing their things. Oh yeah, we have the attack up in the north. How could I forget? Uh, right, so the Augusta can move in on here. This is the Tyrene Republic's last planet, as far as I'm aware. And we'll get our... Cool, our transport fleet is already on the way to land at Irem. We have the smaller class of six that we want to go for the central star base. All right, all good. So it's really a three-pronged attack. You know, we're taking out the Tyrene in the north. We're taking out the Dagatene, the Noor Assembly in the south. And then in the middle... We're attacking the Ancient Eradicators. We're also attacking from here, so it's really, we're just all over the galaxy. Every front line that we have, we're pretty much on there, which is pretty good, I think. Um, yeah, let's just move that guy in that way, and this one in this way. That one's queued up as well, and there's there should be, I think, uh, transport fleets on the way down here as well to get some of these things back. Yeah, it, does, it looks like the Order of Enlightenment did lose whatever the majority of their fleet was. Alright, I'll try to speed things up, even though it is a bit laggy. Hopefully we can survive. That's up at the Tyrene Republic. It's gonna be- I hope it's not too hard for people to keep up and as we're jumping around a lot. Uh, let's see how the galactic community is doing. So the vote for denouncement- denouncement of the Awakened Empires is going well. Two- you know, two to one odds pretty much at the moment. That's good to see. And then for our Federation, we're still losing XP. We're gaining cohesion, so that's gonna start gaining back we were at about like 800 XP at one point. We're down to under, under 700 now. We might be at about 650 by the time it starts getting positive again, which is a shame. But as long as we don't lose any more members of our Federation, we should be fine. New technology discovered. Because of course we want to build that up to level five so we can get the damage to end game. 
improvements. Alright, so let's take a look at Rubicon. There's one more place to go. Bridge. And that'll be it, I think. Good. Yeah, I'm just gonna get in the habit of when I move when I move my camera around, I'll get a pause time. Alright, we got our level 5 flak. That's gonna be awesome. Batharian power plants, man. I remember being amazed when the first time I played Stellaris and I was like, oh, there's a whole other resource you can get by like getting this technology. It used to be tied to it used to allow you to build a generator on a different tile that would give you way more energy. Anyway. Yeah, I thought it was cool. Right, so we have skyscraper artillery, and then we have shredder autocannons. Now they're not the same thing, are they? That's no, I don't think so. No. They just have a similar picture. Oh, let's get the I guess slightly lower down one first. This is isn't cheaper, but it's only level four, so let's get that one. Oh yeah, and we still have the improvements over at Hellas being done. Where are we now? There we are. So, these are all being colonized. Oh yeah, I forgot. So all of our colony ships are out on the outer edge, the second rim. The second ring, I guess you could call it. Uh, and they're colonizing at pretty much all at the exact same pace, so they should all get done at the same time. So that's pretty cool. So that project's still ongoing. We're on so many new worlds, it's insane. planetary invasion. Alright, we've landed on another planet. This one is a Tyrene planet. Manufacturing node. It used to be... Uh, what were they called? The Nerilga, One of the Nerilga's planets. Basically no defense. This might be their last one, actually. Thinking about planet it. Planet conquered. Okay, planet conquered. No big deal. No, their last one's out here. But the Kozier Trade League, I think, have already taken it. Have they? Yeah, they, they have. It's actually being colonized. Or is that devastation? No, that's devastation. Okay, so they've taken it. I'm okay with that. I don't care. I don't really mind. It looks like they've managed to nab it though before we could get there. That's all very well and good. Let's take this last thing then. So we should see this shrink in now, right? Yes. Ah, there you go. So they've lost their territory. Ah, if I played it a bit smarter, we would have taken this and this and then that. Okay, well, all good. Either way, the Tyrene Republic are no more. We didn't get a message about it, actually. It usually says that. As an empire, as a governing body, they don't exist anymore. It's kind of anticlimactic. But they exist within our territories, of course, and we will be enslaving them. Speaking of enslavement, didn't we... Did we get that genetic modification thing done? We'll have to do it again if we just got more of them, thinking about it. Yeah, more Haitian. All right, let's go to the species tab. Let's go to the... Hey, there we go. We have 29 of them. So let's just um, apply the template to them as well. Get them done. Situation log updated. Four months for that, actually. It's kind of a long time. We're going to terraform this into a continental world. That should be fine. All right, that's them done, basically, I think. Uh, let's see if we've got any... Idle construction ships. There's some things we need to get out this way. Not that much, but we might as well get them if we have the system already, which is here. All right, sweet. Okay, man, it's hard to keep it all straight. There's a lot going on, but everything's going good. We're just on so many different fronts all at once. So how are we doing here? So Opsius is on his way to K-Rash, gonna take that back. Damn, the DV, the der what is it? Derivator. He managed to get here. Alright, we'll have to split our fleet. Let's pop an available leader on this one. Obsidius' fleet is going to split into two. One of them's going to go that way. The other one's going to hunt down this these rogue battleships. Did they go north? I don't know where they've gone. <laughs> it looked like they went north to K-Rash. Perhaps they did. There's an FTL inhibitor there. We might not be able to see him. Conquered. All right, so that's Rubicon sliced. We have now two uh, transport fleets waiting, basically, on the frontier for the main fleets to get back down and conquer some territory. It seems like the Veldern is out. I don't know what they're doing here. They're, like, not even moving. They are now. They're just taking their time. All right, so splitting into both areas. We should be able to take whatever comes at us anyway. Nice to see the Colden Consortium pushing in. I saw some people saying that it's nice that we've uplifted them, brought them into the Pax Romana, and now they can take territories on their own. 
I could, I'd give this all to them, really. I, or at least so they have cohesive borders, I wouldn't mind. Alright, let's do that. Some transport fleets out here belonging to the Nur Assembly. And the galaxy is just being crushed. Still haven't actually, I didn't, didn't even double check. It looks like the Karelians have also made their own Colossus weapon. It's at 99% health. They must have taken some damage at some point. Don't see their, oh, there they are. There's their 1.5 million over there. Sadrill Exiles managing to stay out of it. So we definitely noticed in the last episode a lot of maneuvering going on with here. They took like one or two systems and then they seem to be trying to like bring these individual 7,000 stacks. They, they, they're like um, just one battleship, I think. They seem to be making their way out to the main body of the fleet. So maybe they're just constantly reinforcing before they properly push out. I'm not too sure, but they're definitely building things and getting stronger for sure. Not a big deal as long as they don't get really aggressive. All right, we've identified where that fleet is once again. Just got to target it. it. Looks like it's almost just going back and forth now. So we'll target it with both of our battleships and hopefully we can track it down that way. Good. All right, great. And we're just landing on planets left, right, and center. Can't wait to see the attack moon, though. This is going to be the highlight for me. All right, let's queue up. Um, we've already got all, all these. We just don't have uh, troops to land on them. So we're just going to queue that up. That should be the end of the Nur assembly, pretty much. They just need these. There's our transport ships. They're on their way. So might as well help out our ally here. They've got transport ships here, but they don't seem to be. They're bombarding first. Well, whatever. We'll just queue it up to land on it either way. Get the get the job done if it's not going to happen any quicker than that. And how's our main fleet? Our main fleet's on its way back. Class is one. That's going to have the flagship in it. So want that to get back ASAP. Also made a lot of food and minerals. Let's give it to the Colden Consortium. So here you go. Food and minerals. Don't know if they'll have any use for any of this, but we're going to give them 15,000 of each. This isn't even changing. They might have hit their stockpile already. I don't know. We'll just give it to them anyway. Colden Consortium accepts this gift with gratitude. Yeah, could have been given to the Tyrian Republic had they not turned on us. Alright, I've chosen to merge this fleet back up. Hopefully Opsius keeps command, otherwise I have to put him back on. Colony founded. <clears throat> we established a colony in the Severus system in Terminal Egress. Or sorry, ter in Terminal Egress, the colony is called Severus. Alright. No leader for whatever reason. Let's put Opsius straight back on. And then send him out that way. Veldener Zealots mobilizing out this way. It's kind of good to see a bit of a unified front coming together, even though they are vastly outnumbering us now. They actually have one of their ships, one of their fleets is at 600,000 fleet power. Pop Privateers are just in a bunch of small fleets. I don't know why they don't just merge or combine. Maybe their command limit's really low or something. I don't know. Could be the case. Okay, let's keep it moving. Check how the south is going. We've got our own little patch of territory there. <clears throat> we need, again, um, transport ships to come down this way. Hmm. We'll just have to wait. They're on their way. There's loads of them on their way. Actually, we are waiting for these two. Maybe they should go. One of them can head down, maybe. Yeah. I don't know what the quickest route to get down here is, but just tell them to go this way. Oh, they seemingly can't. All right, uh, if that's the case, let's just... Where does this wormhole lead? Yeah, let's jump to Mendok and just go through that way. Can we jump? Can't even jump. 17 days. All right, we'll take the other guys.
Okay, cool. They're gonna jump here. So once they make that jump, we're gonna go through the wormhole, send these around to the south of the galaxy. It does look like the Karelian Restorers are now actively pushing territory against the Traxian Empire. So they're just pushing that front up there, I just saw. Two days to go. Let's hop through the wormhole. And then let's queue up a way to get back down here. Oh, the... Who is it? Someone actually has some here. The Veilon Cluster do. And they have habitats, right. Alright, either way, so fleet combat stuff. It looks like we're winning all these like smaller little engagements. Hostile fleet, fleet presence. It's fine. <laughs> the uh, Juggernaut's going to take that on. How's this going? That's good. How's this going? It's getting better. <laughs> There's so much to keep up on all the time. But we're doing well. We're doing well. There's very little left now of the Ancient Eradicators. Very little. They're all now contained, contained in a very small little box. And the only way out for them is basically now through this system. They have to go through there if they want to get to us. Genetic enhancement supplies. All right, so we applied our species uh, genetics. I'm confused. Didn't we remove this? Oh my god, did I not go to... Oh my god, I'm an idiot. I must have done it the wrong way around. <laughs> I applied them to just, I don't know, be a better version of themselves, but not really what I wanted. I don't know how I managed that. In fact, we just made their lifespan longer. <laughs> well, they're subject to a bunch of testing, I guess you could say. Let's apply this uh, and just finish this off. I was thinking before, it was like four Situation months just for updated. a small little thing like that. It seemed a bit strange, but okay. We'll make them conditioned. They should be fine after this. Oh. So they're getting pretty close now, right? They're in Traxian space. We're only a couple jumps away from each other. The Corinth Restores 1.5 million is now one, two, three jumps away from us. Yeah, gotta be worried about that. Obviously don't want a, a direct engagement there. We can just pull back if we got issues. <clears throat> We could jump behind them and actually take out their Colossus, maybe, at this point. It's sitting on a big base, but it's moving It's moving to this system. You know what? I think Opsius is just bold enough to do it. We're going to wait until it actually starts moving. Alright, so there we go. It's on its way. We're going to hop right into the system, do a big jump. And this could be death for Opsius, but taking out a Colossus um, we weapon is a huge deal. World. Our ring world is, being com is colonized. Okay. Alright, one week to go, Opsius. He is bold and daring. There's nothing that big in here. Just individual ships, and then that Colossus weapon, we want to take it out. It, it might just, I guess, run away or whatever, or escape but it's worth trying all right we're there all right you got one target man how long does this cooldown last 200 days 168 days station under attack oh let's go for the station first of course a cause to dance strange occurrences have been reported among the colonists on hadrian apparently many individuals have taken to dancing on the streets for hours and de even days on end, refusing to stop until they're physically restrained. So far, it's only affected a relatively small portion of the population, and our authorities have yet to establish a pattern. Monitor the situation. Hadrian is up in the L cluster. I did forget about the base, actually, so... <laughs> Good thing it wasn't huge. The base in the other system was 250. Alright, we have the base. It's been given to the pod privateers, interestingly. Now, we should monitor the situation. Is anything coming back for us? <laughs> nope, they're heading southeast, down this way. Okay. They actually might be heading straight towards the other big fleet. They seem to have ignored us a little. Go on, Opsius. Take it out. Get the job done. All 
Alright, they're about to jump. We should be totally in range now. Come on. Don't let them get away. They're gonna get away. Good. Yes. I wanna see it taken out! It's lost all its armor. It's lost its little shields. It managed to get away. At least it's damaged. Alright, we can't do our jump to get out of here for 129 days. But we can at least mess with them a bit. Um. Hmm. Hmm. No, they've turned around. <laughs> let's, uh, let's safely go back through our friendly territory. Alright, good. Well, good effort. Either way. Happy to see it. We'll just get up there and we'll do a jump back across this way. We should be fine. <clears throat> How's it going down in the south? Battling the space amoeba. We will be. Juggernaut's here as well. We just need the troops to land on these different planets now. They're getting pretty close to that one. How are we doing elsewhere? The Federation fleet's pushing deeper. There's the 120,000 stack. It is alive. Okay. Let's just wait then a bit. We want to merge our guys up and then go in. That's in the center there. What is that? The Brill Hegemony. Who are the Brill Hegemony? Never heard of them. <laughs> never seen them. Never seen that species. Don't know. All right. The Vanquishing Bouquet. We'll have that. We'll have that battle before the day is out. I'm sure. And the north is done. So yeah, the north is done, which means this fleet now can... I guess you might as well make your way back to Bernard Star... Or sorry, excuse me. Starfield of Mars. And you as well. Just so you can heal, replenish, do what you need to do. The hell is this? Oh, right, my flagship's done. The flagship, look at it. Yes! I gotta be a bit quiet. My girlfriend's is probably... Not Probably woken up, honestly, because of me, but love to scream from the top of a mountain. <laughs> this looks awesome. Holy shit, 244,000 fleet power. That's what I'm talking about. All right, we're going to bring that to the Starfield of Mars as well. Don't know why it's over at Tiberia. Maybe it wasn't made at the Starfield. No, it would have been. Pretty, pretty sure it would have been. Pretty sure in the last episode I would have queued it up here to get that bonus to speed and reduction in cost. If I didn't, I'm an awful idiot. Uh, also, is this, how's this going? That's almost done as well. Excellent. Things are coming together. That is mega. 244,000. Now, remember, you can only have one of them. So. That cost us 600 influence, that bad boy. Alright, we're managing to get out of there. Opsis is hit and run. Love to see it. Where could we go, actually, if we wanted to disrupt a bit more behind enemy lines? It's not really worth it. Like, I don't want to get bogged down by one of these 300,000 star bases. I'm sure we'd probably win it but we'll take damage unnecessary damage gotta save every alloy we have and almost anything we attack is just going to kind of warp back somewhere else so i've got these guys in position now to make a gateway and to make an attack get another attack moon so let's do that so you're the attack moon right can't remember which system it was. Oh, is it Huff? Sorry, wrong thing. There it is. Attack Moon Sight. 85 influence. Let's go. Nothing should be coming for us from here. And I guess in here we'll also build... I don't know if you're going to do one per system, but... Either way, let's get... Another ship is performing, or has finished performing this order. I think it's because another ship is building a megastructure in the system. I'm a bit lazy. I think we'll just build it here in the system over. It's not that big of a deal. Might actually even be safer in some, some respects. Let's do that. So a gateway down in the south. So that means... So there is a gateway there. I'm just trying to think. Is this effective? Commencing planetary invasion. If we ever want to get down here, we can always just take a gateway that leads to Brundisium. And then go to Opsius and go down. So it's only... It is actually pretty quick to get down here. Maybe that is a bit of a waste. 
because all gateways can just lead to two jumps away from this wormhole. So I don't know if we actually need it. I'll cancel it. Cancel it for now. I'm actually okay with it. We definitely need it. Kind of feel like I need one over here. But I can't build them in friendly territory, can I? I don't know. Maybe you can. That'd be really nice if we could. You cannot build outside of your empire borders. Yeah, that's a shame. Because I'd love to set up some out that way. We have one here. It's not really worth it in that little corner, though. I don't think. Okay. Anyways. All right, not much else to do. Oh, we're on slow um, speed. No wonder things were into crashing. All right, we're on our way out. Yeah, it looks like they're heading back down southeast. I would love to see them clash with each other. That'd be so cool just to watch the battle. Mm -hmm. My money will be on the Corinth Restorers. Mm -hmm. If we saw that they were about to be engaged in combat, I would definitely rush like back towards their capital planets or something. Mm -hmm. All right, we're full up on minerals yet again. Let's maybe toss some to the pod privateers. Looks like they have like absolutely no use for it, but sure. Gain favor with everyone doing it. All right, so it looks like the uh, Federation's about to start gaining cohesion again. And that's okay too. So the dancing plague over at Hadrian. The isolated incidents of spontaneous, prolonged dancing on Hadrian have escalated somewhat, and groups of hundreds of humans are now compulsively dancing in a, various, in a variety of different styles. Surprisingly, even those who have never shown much interest in dancing are suddenly able to perform ex expert moves, and the old among them have rediscovered the vigor of their youth. Although many residents are jokingly referring to it as the dancing plague, it is no joking matter. The dancers show no concern for their bodily needs and risk dancing themselves to death. Okay. This isn't natural. We must find out what's afflicting to them. Yeah, I'd say so. Start playing the music? No, let's figure this out. Something obviously wrong. <laughs> Deeply wrong. One month to understand that. Well, we're doing another one at the moment, so let's just... I don't know if we can do both at the same time, can we? No, apparently so. Alright, good. They're done as well. So they've taken everything here. It's all just left for armies now to take stuff. How strong are they? 145,000. Um, Alright, we'll do a jump across into Seul. It'll be a while before their big fleet could get to me if they were trying to. 4% done for that, and let's have a look at Larum, see when our attack moon is done. 500 days, okay. Hmm. I'm not too sure what else to be building. We never finished the megastructure up here. Let's see how much it would have cost. 12,000. No, I'll leave it, because we're going to be building a huge amount into our fleet in a moment. Hey, Classes 1's made it there, speaking of. So, let's link up. Oh, the flagship is here at the same time. Perfect. Combine these two bad boys under no net or Phidias for now. Species enhanced. Planetary occupation failed. What? Holy shit. Oh man, that's what I get for not checking. Our invasion failed. Our general Quarta Floronius died leading legion legio 11 so that those guys i raised they were being raised at saul for the last like i don't know 10 years i can't believe it i never i did it just didn't check i just didn't think to check no one's ever had like a good defense it makes sense because we did see like an army above the planet and i was like oh they're probably just you know not landing but damn and not even, I mean, like, half of them, more than half. Two-thirds are, like, full strength. I'm sure we killed some, but Jesus. Man, that's the Teutoburg Forest of our galactic endeavors, in a way. Never expected it. Give me back my legions! <sighs> well, at least it wasn't uh, the Spartans or Cases Conquerors. 
That'd be devastating. They'll have to get the job done when they go back there. That's pretty cool, because they, they're a bandit kingdom, the Dagateni. They really put up a good fight, so that's kind of cool. And from their perspective, I guess. People were saying you should be buying alloys instead of from the from people from, instead of from the market from other uh, empires. I don't know if they'd have any during this time of crisis, but um, maybe alloys. It's like, what do you want? You know, I can give you 150,000 energy basically without even giving, without even blinking an eye. Like, is this worth 30,000 to 10,000? Three to one? It's actually not too bad, I guess. Uh, maybe we could throw in some extra stuff that we don't really care too much about and they'll just I mean we could game it so hard by just using only living crystal it Just doesn't seem that balanced. We've got like 16,000 of it, you know, and it seems like we could just give them a few hundred <laughs> for all their alloys oh, I'm not gonna do it. It's too gamey, but we'll just give them what they need and then accept it It's fine one of the um, Tyrene planets. These planets should be terraforming as well. Yeah, they are. Can't terraform their capital, and I did rename their capital on request of someone to Tyrenia. Okay. Alright, um, so how's the territories down here? Where's our fleet? There it is there. Just taking out that system. Good. All right, now we can jump back, or no, we still have to wait a little while, do we? 49 days, wow. We basically just want to jump back out here and start taking more ancient eradicator territory, if we can. Otherwise, it's a very long journey out that way. Oh, uh, while we're here, let's clean up that little ancient eradicator territory there. That would that'd be nice. 82,000 alloys. So, we were looking at the main fleet. They've linked up now with the flagship. Flagship is super thick on top of it. 405,000. Massively under strength we are right now. That's me speaking like Yoda. Now, did we get anything that can even upgrade these guys? I don't think so. Oh, the flak. Yeah, yeah. Level 5 Iron Cloud Defenders. That's all good. Automatically updating, by the way, is just going to break the whole ship, so I'm not going to not going to do that before you even think about typing that. All right, what else? They're fine. This is all fine. Level 1 Mega Cannons, Level 3 Improved Tachyon Lance. Yep. Tomahawks are as good as they can get. Devastator, Desolator Torpedoes, as good as they can get. These things as well. I thought we got Level 5, but I guess not. And that's pretty much it. Alright, we'll just save that. Just before we build our dreadnoughts now, let's just make sure these are up to date. Okay. I noticed one thing wasn't up to date actually. The crystal throwers, they have level 2 now. Okay, and then we'll just do battleships, and then we'll just build, and we'll have a look afterwards what we're missing. <clears throat> so the Fluxian battleship, I think, is the one I'm kind of going to go with a lot of the time. Don't think there's anything to change on that. The flak, I guess. Okay, Fluxium Sulla, this, I don't think we're going to be building them. So let's have a look. Classes 1. Fluxium is there, 14 of them. Battle cruisers and so on. So these are. The, I'll look at this in between episodes. I just don't want to, you know, hang around on the episode too long doing that. But yeah, I'll upgrade, make sure we upgrade those. I don't know if we necessarily need these. I'll have to look into it. But either way, let's commission the building of this. This is 68,000 alloys. Our home base is, doesn't exist anymore. It's been renamed. Let's uh, change its name real quick find it in the list Starfield of Mars I'm looking for if it's there it just still says oh the station's name hasn't changed yet that's why okay that's all good all right let's do the upgrade first okay. 
construction online. Shouldn't be doing this while time is playing. Starfield. All right, the dancing plague again. The pathogen has been isolated. Our researchers have succeeded in isolating the cause of the dancing incidents on Hadrian. It appears the culprit is a gas released by the local vegetation. This gas induced feelings of exhilaration and irresistible urge to dance while suppressing fatigue. It seems to be fairly benign. However, as the colonists' self-preservation instincts prevent them from literally dancing themselves to death. Okay, yeah, I guess. I, I don't know if I've read that wrong. Anyway, furthermore, our scientist has developed a synthetic gas that, once released into the air, will neutralize the effects of the dancing gas. Local entrepreneurs suggest that we preserve the unique character of the colony by allowing the gas free, free reign in certain areas, providing a safe space for young and old to experience the eternal party of Hadrian. Others point out that the gas has certainly uh, has certain valuable properties that we can make use of if we can extract it from the plants before it's released. The show must go on. Gas extraction wells are added, pop growth speed, or let us exploit these gases to the full. We add a fuming bog to Hadrian, giving two gas extraction wells. Now I'll just do the one. I like that. Pop growth speed. Show must go on. Hopefully no Construction big setbacks. Online. Our strategic coordination center is about to get an upgrade. A little test fire there, don't worry about it. <laughs> Good, they're all upgrading, and then we'll start to commission the build. I like to just get the upgrade done first, just because it can confuse things. Alright, I'm sorry we haven't got more done in this episode, but I guess at the state of the game now, things do just feel like they slow down. But hopefully it's still interesting. I know it's just one giant war, but we're... we're doing good work and once we start like finishing off like some of these smaller territories then it's really just our focus turns and shifts to just one enemy um, right so those guys are gonna link up together and then these two we're gonna push towards the center and fight the 100k stack which I don't even know where it's gone anymore it was there anyway you're gonna head to tier you're gonna go to the Nexus yeah, I don't know where they've gone Oh, there they are. 131,000. Let's keep an eye on them, see where they're going. Zoloman. An attack into the remnants of Ilaria's territory. <laughs> Sorry. I, I'm bringing up my cat a lot lately, but, um... I don't know. She, I can't explain it. She just, like, put her paws over her eyes. But she's, like, upside down. Just, like, really just wants to cover her eyes. There's, like, a big bright light above me, I guess. She's trying to sleep. It's just funny. It's like very human the way she did it. Sorry. Just made me laugh. Uh, all right. Cool. You know what I haven't checked in a while? Is he's still okay? He's 123. What about um, Opsius? 154. They're fine. All right. Good. We've taken the Seul system. No problems there. Let's push to the next one. Strategic Coordination Center, the hull. The armored hull of the Strategic Coordination Center is now complete. Now housing the absolute cream of our military command it is virtually impregnable. Secure and consecrated, they are able to devote their every waking hour to planning how to best defend our empire. Excellent. That's just the hull though, so that's going to give us naval capacity 50, star base capacity increase, defense platforms increase, and sublight speed increase. Next stage, please. It's on the star field of Mars, of course, as well. Almost at 100% for these ships. So many alloys to be building as well. Uh, for a fleet, all of a sudden. This transport fleet are ready to go. Let's send them back to Saul, link with the rest that are there, and then they can push south. Now, the Spartans are down here, are they? Yeah, they are. They're on their way. Cool. Alright, great. 133,000 or 7,000 are kind of getting away from me, though. They're pushing into the Ilarian territory now. We can't do a jump with the battleships. They're just kind of limited. We could face off with this fleet, though, when it regains its strength in 54 days. It could probably win. 
I would say. I think our tech would be high enough to do it. And it'll speed up a lot. And sp speaking of, um, do we have the edicts on for power and stuff like that? Yeah, we don't have the sensor one on. Let's turn that on. We have exotic gases as fuel, so that's doing its thing. Shield boost that we don't. All right, let's do that. All right, good. Unrest, radicalization. The unrest on manufacturing node has led to mounting calls from the locals for a more pronounced military presence. Uh-oh. Why are you so unhappy? Is it just because you're all Tyrene? You're all Hasian? How are you guys even working this job? You shouldn't be. You should all be level one or tier one. The Hasian are now all conditions. Let's set their rights. Slaves. Yes. Chattel slavery. They can't take ruler or specialist jobs. Well, they have, apparently, so figure it out. <laughs> oh, it's being fixed now. Maybe that was what was causing the issue. Nope. Now there's just a lot of, a lot of unemployment. That's too much microing doing this on episodes. I gotta do it between episodes, but if I don't want them rising up or something. So let's just... Um, where's a place that's in need of jobs? There's 30 available jobs on New Estania. It's mostly... And uh, technician jobs, I think, so just move them all over. Destroy the buildings, I don't give a shit. <laughs> just get them off this planet. They're gonna be causing problems. Okay, and then maybe transfer just a couple humans from Terra? Or anyone, really, it doesn't matter. Instill some order. Maybe uh, replace this with a Senate house, and then they should be fine. That should increase stability. Look at that, 68 stability, love it. That's how you do it. Take control. Okay, so basically we moved them out to New Astania, and let's just take a look at them now. Good, and maybe some of them, perhaps, may also work the gladiator job. Fight in the arena. Okay, so we're about to take that little patch of territory now as well, as we close in on that gap. Good. It's all peaceful now. Please I really wanted to see the moon to finish in this episode, though. What was, how many days are left on that? 300. Alright, can I do a full year? Maybe. I think we've only done, like, one and a half. <laughs> Right, because I'm lazy, I'm just going to sell off minerals in the market. I noticed as well, I clicked to Starbase during this episode, but like I said, I think it's to do with deleting or downgrading a Starbase and then clicking a fleet. It seems to be the thing that causes that bug. Anyway, let's push into the system. Still, they're still out there. If I could just push straight towards them, that'd be ideal. 120,000 there. We're going to push these guys as well. Oh, we can't go that way. Why not? Oh, the FTL inhibitor. It's on the planet. It's on the habitat, even. Hmm. I could just jump over it. Um, but then we have to wait 200 days. I'll risk it. We'll jump over it. See if we can wait it out. There's more unrest on some of these Tyrene worlds, but it's fine. I'll relocate them afterwards. Could probably open up on some of the hap on some of the um, the new Ring World segments. Segments. I don't know what to specialize them as. That's the other thing I need to do. I need to switch them all. This is what I've been doing in between as well. Is switching them all to human. It's really laggy opening that list. There's so many different species now. Anyway, that we take a little bit of a growth penalty, but at least we get just humans, basically. So that's all fine. There's so many now as well. <laughs> and you can build, what, two more layers of this ring world? It'd be crazy. 
All right, cool. So that's all set. I don't know what I'm going to do with them. We could create vast amounts of energy, vast amounts of research. So we have Athens here. We could build two more off of that. Each one could have two, right? No, not quite. It's, it's four to six. Hmm. Well, really, I think what we could be doing is doing energy. It's not even energy, it's commerce. So we do get consumer goods back out of these things. Artisans turn minerals into consumer goods. Oh, wow. Yeah, it gives you five artisan jobs directly. And our trade turns into uh, consumer goods as well. All right, let's um, build two of them. Gonna do the same, so two, two, and two for now. I mean, we really don't need food, but it's fine. Need somebody to put the slaves. All right. Oh, yeah, sorry, the fleet. So let's see how it's done now. Is it done? Cool, it's upgraded. All right, 68,000 alloys, 600 moats, 278 uh, gas. 21 crystals, 26 dark matter, 4 psionic charge, and 616 living crystal. I can't believe it's only 4 psionic charge, but okay. Because we have a lot of those psionic um, ships and stuff those in the hangars. Just pause it really quickly, just, just out of curiosity. Like, we're using these things. How much do they cost? 4.8, it says, for each one. I don't know how it could be so cheap. So we definitely have these in like multiple things. That's already been built. Four point eight and four point eight. We we're after building like a few of these ships, didn't we? So so weird. Fluxium. The fluxium doesn't have any. Anyway, I'm sure it's fine. But I thought it was going to be more than that. All right. So shipyard. There it is. They're all being queued up. It's going to take a hundred days, just about. planetary invasion. Look forward to seeing our strength after the fact. Uh, and as well, while we're here, we can do an upgrade with them. We can do an upgrade and replenishment with them. All right, we've got a planetary invasion. This time, let's pay attention to it. All right, they seem fine. And there's really not much left if we take a little look now. It's barely just like little pockets now. There's nothing left up in the north. Little pockets down here. The Traxian Empire pushing... Seems like they're almost bordering each other up this way now. Alright, they managed to make their way back north. The Corinth restores. I don't know where their other fleets are. That's only just one of them. 400,000. They obviously had two or three. Oh, they're just there. I'm sure they're just... Fleet upgraded. Almost temporarily split. Alright, we can finally make our jump back across into this system. Some of our edicts are wearing off, some of the ambitions. We have plenty of unity to get them all back, I think, so let's just do that real quick. Will to power. Actually, it's, it costs us a lot more now because we're way over the um, Empire Sprawl, so that's the penalty. So, monthly influence 5, we want that. Naval capacity and ship upkeep reductions, yes. Monthly minerals, no, we don't need that. And governing ethics, I'll even leave that for a while. Just while it's at this increased cost. Sorry. Alright, we're getting pretty close now. Let's keep going. And then we get to break out. 120,000. We've got 89,000 here. Let's get to this system. We're going to protect it. They've got more than us. 30,000 more than us. But we should be fine, I think. I hope. They're bombarding right now, so we can save a bit of time and build our strength up and then get to them. The invasion is over down here, so that was the Spartans have taken that territory, so what's left to be taken? This planet. Leaf's Heaven. Leaf's Haven, sorry. Good, not many people on that. All right, all good. <laughs> God, there's so much stuff. I'm so sorry that I can't go through things faster. If I don't pause it as well, like the game is so glitchy, so I have to pause it to do things. 
Um, right, so what's next? <laughs> Both these fleets are here, they can merge back up. There, that's the thing I've been waiting to hear. No, this is that system 2872. Alright, this isn't even the other place. So that's the movement systems are in place. Now it's the long one for the weapon systems. And that's what we're waiting on finishing at Lyrum. 244 days. Alright, we're getting there. Slowly but surely. My game is for... Oh yeah, it's the first. Okay, cool. It's not a big deal. Well, at least no crashes. You know, I don't want to jinx it, but at least that's all good as well. So we're still making it through. Good. So you guys go up this way now. You follow. So they're being hemmed in pretty bad. Actually, you know what? You can. I might as well go get the extra bits of territory while we can, while we're here. Juggernaut still doing its thing. Might just return that home, honestly, at this point. Yeah, because we're not using it to reinforce. All right, we are one system away from having this battle, but we need 72 days. Gotta fix those planets in between. I have to remember to do that. Repairs completed. I'm guessing of the smaller fleets. Yeah, class is three. It's all good. All right, we did our next jump with Opsius. We can bring the troops up this way as well. There's nothing in here, but we have to then go to Sim. The Corinth Restores are back in their own territory now. It looks like they're actually moving back to the center again. They've actually got their Colossus repaired. So maybe that was a bit of an Commencing irrelevant jump, I guess. Invasion. But we could have taken it up. I think it was still worth attempting it. Same deal for the Carillion Regulators. I just don't understand their AI sometimes, the way they're going forward and back. And then they left this system here for some reason, so weird. Alright, how much time do we have now? 40 days to go, and then we can go engage these guys in combat. And we can actually catch up with this other battleship fleet. Uh, should we finish that system first? We have seized an enemy world. All right, nice. Another world has fallen. That time it was Leaf's Haven, which we just looked at. Let's go to Horticultured. <laughs> Maybe we should check that. Let's see. Yep. Okay. Get in the habit of that after we lost those legions. How's the votes going, by the way, as well? It's over in a year. We'll be able to get that. So basically, when this finishes, if you don't remember, this is going to give us... I can't see it there. Uh, plus 25% damage to the Awakened Empire. So once that's done, then we're just going to wait for a couple moons to be built and go for them. Pretty much. Commencing planetary invasion. 11 days. All right, you get going then. We should meet up at the same time, really, with both of these guys, I think. Excellent. Alright, bit of a pincer attack coming in from two directions. One with the Pax Romana 1, and then the other one with, what was it, Glasses 3. Excellent. Oh, they were the ones that repaired, actually. Oh, interesting. They must be repairing on their own with their technology. Okay, they're moving. <laughs> It's fine. <laughs> we might have a rebellion, but it's fine. I'll deal with it. Oh, they're turning around. All right, we can do our jump, by the way. So we're actually ready for this. Stay here. Planetary invasion successful. All right, the other fleet's here as well. So what's the distance on the, both of these? 19 days for the arrival date, and for you, 18 days. Perfect, let's go. Pincer attack. Well executed, I must say. So. Let's find Colden Consortium, got the Leafs Haven habitat in the other planet as well. 
Uh, just while we're waiting on that, then let's just reorganize where that sh those fleets are going to go, or those armies even. Uh, no idea where they are. Oh, there they are. Okay, cool. So they're waiting above a planet, but they haven't taken it. So again, might be another situation. Nope. So I was right about this one. And that's the Veilong cluster as well, so I guess that might be why. All right, let's get back to the battle. It begins. Slow it down for this one. So not really too great for us until we bring in the other, the other fleet. It's just behind now. So this is our damage output on the left, and that's like damage received, basically, we're seeing on the right, right? Yeah. Shit, their damage to our armor is very efficient. Spaceport under attack. We're hitting them in the rear, though, with the other fleet now. What the hell is that? Is that a... That's a dreadnought, okay. I thought they had their own flagship. I would have been very impressed if they built one. It's more like it. Sorry, I didn't have the other group in there. So we're also quite efficient at dealing damage to their armor. That's the thing, our fleets are going to have to be, I think I said it in the previous episode, but that respect to deal way more damage to armor and take more advantage of dealing damage to armor. Because the Fallen Empires, or the, sorry, yeah, the Awakened Empires seem to be rocking most of the armor stuff. So we're going to drop a lot of our shields, put more armor on ourselves, and also try to deal more damage to armor as well. Don't give up on me, game. Not mid-battle. Not like this. Good. Oh. The Irobot Incorporators have declared war on our ally. Oh, they've after having a robot rebellion. The Dakarite Fragments. Yeah, there it is. 68,000, 54,000, 28,000. Oh, crap. Oh, my God. It looks like the Ancient Eradicators. We'll have to... Well, I'm allied with them, but I'm not at war with these guys. Although, am I? It said I was up here. Dakarite Machine Uprising. Yeah, so I am, but they're not... Oh, it's because we haven't turned the thing on. I am at war with them. They're just not hostile here. I'm sure that'll turn hostile, though. Yeah, there we go. Just took a few days. Alright, that's an interesting uh, spanner in the works. All right, that's it. So we managed to take them out. Let's check check on that combat report. So we lost one strike cruiser, one battleship, and one carrier from the Pax Romana Federation fleet. Three corvettes, 11 destroyers, and two cruisers. Wow, so our class is three. Really isn't rocking things that are that big. I didn't even realize. It's just corvettes, destroyers, and cruisers. So it's a really basic fleet. Good. Uh, the amount of debris, though, here now. All right, well, at least we saved the planet. We can go take the center of the system. Alright, let's go for Sim, and we'll go there with the transports as well. Yeah, let's see how that plays out. That is interesting. Oh my... Oh yes, look at that. 700,000 on our, on our main fleet right now. Is that fully built up? I think it is. Yeah. To the max. It could be upgraded slightly if we go through some stuff, but I don't want to do that right now. Uh, well, you know, while we're here, we could go down and try to help that. In whatever way we can. Lead with the main fleet and, uh, join with the other two. Now, that's a thick fleet. 700,000. Now we're, get, we're getting to the point where we're starting to be able to, like, have a decent fight against those guys. <laughs> Luckily, they haven't been as hyper-fast aggressive as I thought. 
It's an early jump. Jeez. <laughs> All right. And then um, we have the Lyrum Moon, which is almost ready. 72 days. So we'll wrap it up after that thing gets built and see what happens. If we get the moon or if it's another phase. I don't know. All right. This has been pretty cool. Pretty cool. Not too dangerous. I mean, I really thought they were just going to keep expanding, but they just keep going out and then coming back in. I wonder, do they just have, like, too many enemies to even deal with right now? Especially when we were three jumps away, I was like, oh, they're locked on. You know, they're going to come for us. But it doesn't seem so. Ops just needs to get back and put that level five flak on his, um, Velites. Commencing planetary invasion. Oh no, it's the Hastati Psi class, isn't it, that have them. Damn, just as I was about to check them. Do have a lot of ships in this. There we go. Oh my god, stop fucking messing with me. There we go. Oh, they got the Iron Curtain point defense. Oh yeah, they definitely need the flag. 100% need flag. To deal with all these small hangar ships that will be coming out of the Fallen Empire. So he needs to get back to do that. We have seized an enemy world. What did we seize? Grasslands. All right, we're just chopping up territories down there. We've ex we've snaked our way all along this way. This is kind of interesting. I'll probably give this to someone. If we don't need it, I might go through them and check. Do we can, can we consecrate any worlds or something like that, and then decide to give it away? All right, there's even more stuff to take here. Star Grove. That's the Spartans just carving them up. Order of Enlightenment, not very big anymore. Let's just get that for the border gore. Alright, planetary invasion here. Well, it says that, but surely that's done. Oh, sorry, here. Cool. Alright, I know it's a bit of a weird episode. It's hard to kind of even commentate when it's just like, oh, you're fighting like in four different spots of the galaxy, you just have to hop around between them constantly all the while getting bombarded with messages of unrest and problems in your own planets, and that's because we're conquering so much. Um, but other than that, it's just not much we can do. Our Augusta station is leveled up. I won't click it. Let's just have a look at it. That's the Augusta one. Sorry. Let's have a look at the Opsius one. It's our big one. 640,000 still. Federation's now finally gaining XP at a much faster rate. So we're already back over 700, so that's good. The votes are going through in 200 days, and the moon should be days away at this point. 13 days away. Let's chill here and see what happens. Three, two, one. Uh, <laughs> okay. A moon takes flight. It's been done. The celestial body we built on the attack moon. Uh, around Lyrum 5 is no longer a mere moon or small planet. It's been equipped with an extremely large Omega Annihilation Lance, capable of punching through almost anything. Uh, thrusters have pushed the moon out of its orbit, its hyperdrive has been activated, and it is now... It's now been added to our military force. It is now ready for annihilation. Fantastic, our enemy shall tremble. In fear of this past day. The, ah, I was gonna say. <laughs> the moon is still there for a bit. So yeah. Nice. So what do we got? Oh, 319,000? Shit, I didn't even see it. I didn't even notice. Holy crap. Oh, man, it looks so cool as well with the chains wrapped around it. It's a bit ridiculous. Well, I guess it's not chains. It's more like a ring world segment, almost. Wrapped around it. What do we got? Oh, it's only got hyperdrive, though. That's a bit of a shame. We can't jump like they can. But we seem to have everything else they do. Now, do we have this to modify, maybe? No. We have that headquarters thing, which I don't even know what that is. It's fucking massive, though. Seems like some giant star base, I guess. Um, yeah, I guess we don't have the moon available to actually edit ourselves. Maybe it's based on its size or something. I don't know. Because they have ones that are like in entire planets. Maybe that's just another tier up. There we go. War moon, frozen attack moon. Oh, maybe it's also... Could possibly be based on its 
what it was before. This was a frozen moon. Nice! 300, so that means we're up to now a million fleet power with one of these. And we have two more on the way. So I think when we get the next two done, which is about two to three years, then we push in. And we, start, we take the fight to them. And by then our technology should be in increased to the point where we should be totally fine to have our fleet like capable of doing it. We should have wrapped up everything else. Let's have a look at it move. <laughs> Someone can be pilot piloting the whole planet. That's so cool. <laughs> Let's go that way and then, I don't know, slingshot off that and then go there. Let's go for a little journey around the system real quick. I can't zoom in any further than that. That's as far as I can go. Oh, weird. Obviously, I can just do this, though. <laughs> That's ridiculous. Oh, this is awesome. All right, I can't wait to use this thing. Moon v moon combat at this point is going to be so insane. I fully expect all our moons to go down. It'd be cool if it left behind the actual like broken world kind of thing that you get. It's taking its turn. <laughs> the energy that would be needed. What's the upkeep? Excuse me. Upkeep is, oh wow, 163 energy. Yeah. That's understandable. <laughs> that is understandable. 250,000 hold points, 187,000 armor. It's got 64 strike craft of its own. These things, the lunar hangers. And then it has lunar missile batteries, 100% shield penetration, and then the Omega Annihilation Lance with damage between 60 and 65,000. Average damage to 2,100, 100% accurate 250 range. These things are going to be beasts. They're slow, though. I guess it makes sense, but that's going to be awkward. <laughs> Can't, like, jump our, our fleets around as much as I'd like to with that. I would love to... Should we... I feel like we should almost test this out and bring it up to the Infinity Machine and just, like, one-shot it. That'd be so cool. Maybe... Maybe one day. I don't necessarily want to just do that, but we should test fire it, right? You'd think we would. All right, that is going to be it for today's episode. At least the save is working. I know things are a bit slow. Hopefully people don't mind. They can bear with me as we clean up some parts of the galaxy. I'm sure once the wars die down, things may speed up again. And then if if perhaps there's another war, I don't know, in the future, if something, something happens, I'm sure things will grind to a halt again. But nevertheless, it should be fun. All right, thank you guys very much for watching. I'm super happy that we got through this episode. <laughs> no crashes. And I'll see you in the next one.